this problem, we're going to graph a linear inequality. And depending on the context, you might wish to graph different forms of particular lines. The way this one's provided, I think I'm going to go for slope-intercept form. So let me subtract 3x from both sides so that I get an equation that says y bigger than negative 3x minus 2. The reason I'm doing this is because it's easier for me to be able to graph things like the y-intercept and then to recognize the slope. So because it's now currently in slope-intercept form, we can see that the y-intercept would be negative 2. So along the y-axis, I'm going to go to the number negative 2 and put a point in. Then I will look at the slope. The slope is negative 3, which indicates a rise of negative 3 per a run of 1. So rising negative 3 would mean going down 3, and a run of 1 would mean moving right 1. So get a dot that would be located kind of over here. Okay, so we have a point at 0, negative 2, and we have a point located at 1, negative 5, because it's down 3 from before. And now we're going to graph the line that connects those two points. Because the inequality is a bigger than as opposed to a bigger than or equal to, we're going to draw our line in as a dotted line. So dotted line means up to and not quite including, as opposed to a solid line, which would mean up to and including. So notice I've drawn a dotted line uh, to the best of my ability. Let me get rid of these little scratchies that showed up. And now the last thing that we have to do with these is we do have to shade, because an inequality indicates that either the left-hand side or the right-hand side or one of the halves of the plane have to be shaded. So to figure out whether we shade or not, I just like to take a test point. So I'm going to put a test point right there that's easy to work with, namely 0, 0. And if we take that point 0, 0 and put it into any one of the forms of the inequality, we just look to see if it's a true statement and then that will tell us which side to shade. So I'm going to take the original 3x plus y bigger than negative 2, replace x and y with 0, so 3, 0 plus 0 bigger than negative 2, evaluate is 0 bigger than negative 2, and this is a true statement, and therefore the shading is going to go on this side because the place where that green dot was, was a true point. If it were false, we would shade the other side. So with all that, try to do this one on your own, and assuming you took a chance and paused the video here to try it out, let's do it together. This time, because of the form in the standard form, and the fact that the numbers are a little bit cleaner this time, I'm going to just use the intercept method. So if I let x equals 0, actually let me do this in a different color. If I let x equals 0, that would replace 4 times 0 minus y, bigger than or equal to 4, negative y, bigger than or equal to 4, y less than or equal to 4. Now, all I really care about is the numerical value, because we're looking for the border. So I might as well erase that symbol that's in the middle all the way through, and think of it as an equality, so that I can see that the equation must go through, whoops, forgot my negative there, 0, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. On the other hand, the other intercept, I'm going to do an x-intercept by replacing y with 0, and that would yield 4x minus 0 equals 4, again I'm replacing with an equals, so that we get 4x equals 4, and x equals 1. So that would indicate an x-intercept of 1. Okay, we're going to connect again. This time, the symbol is bigger than or equal to, so the line that we're going to draw in between these points is going to be a solid line as opposed to a dotted line. So there's our line being drawn in, and then the last part is to test a point. So we'll test the point 0, 0, just like we did last time, and if I were to replace this into the inequality, we would get 4 times 0 minus 0 
bigger than or equal to 4. This time we're keeping the inequality. 0 bigger than or equal to 4. And is that a true or a false point? Well, 0 is not bigger than or equal to 4, so this would be a false point, And thus, this time, the shading would be on this side of the line. We shade the side that does not include 0, 0, because 0, 0 was a false test point.